like to um, for organizing this uh, wonderful um, get together in the name of ICT for us. Um, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers of this con uh, of this conference, uh, the participants, ministers present, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor for us to attend such a, a, a wonderful gathering. And indeed for us, as uh, the Kingdom of Swaziland, it is more of a learning curve than uh, sharing much with uh, <coughs> themselves. We are just going to uh, run through a very, very uh, short presentation. Uh, we know that as uh, time moves on, uh, the concentration span on adults tends to widen, <laughs> and I am not uh, going to uh, bore you with a long, long uh, presentation. We will reserve the rest uh, for, the, for this afternoon where we do a lot of interactive work. Uh, the presentation we will just uh, highlight the current status in Switzerland, why we have to invest in ICT for education, successes, strategies, and the way forward. The current status uh, in Switzerland is that we have, um, uh, we have established a policy that was adopted in 2005 by an act, uh, act of parliament. That leads me to, um, to say that uh, the Ministry of ICT uh, in Switzerland is uh, a fairly new ministry only created in 2009. Um, and that is uh, the reason why it has taken that long to, to have that policy in place. And uh, besides that, before it was hidden in other ministries, one in the Ministry of Tourism and at a later stage, and at another time it was in the Ministry of Finance. But now it has come out and uh, it's, a, it's a standalone ministry. The policy has nine pillars and education is one of these pillars. And the Ministry of Education and Training has developed a draft, a draft ICT policy in education, and that also has been adopted. The education sector and ICT policy has the following goals. One is to train ICT teachers for schools to introduce ICT curriculum from primary to secondary schools, <coughs> and to use ICT in the teaching learning and management of the education system to promote e-learning and ICT literacy prerequisite for entry into teacher training uh, colleges. Further um, uh, to that, we are as a government setting goals in one thing, reaching them in another. That is what we normally say, that we set the goals, but reaching them is something else. Government colleges have all introduced computer uh, education as a mandatory course in the first year. Secondary schools have taken it up at an appreciable, at an appreciable rate. However, primary schools are lagging way behind. This is just a, you know, highlights of the stats that we have. Uh, at primary school level, we have uh, 550 schools and only about 6% uh, of those schools are computerized. Secondary, we have uh, 230 schools but only about uh, 63%. Uh, with the current uh, policy, ICT training is mandatory <coughs> for all tertiary educational institutions. That is uh, really taking a leap forward, but without much of the basic education, it still uh, becomes a challenge when you get there. UNISO, which is the University of Southland, is at the moment creating <coughs> methods of program delivery in partnership with uh, some Indian universities. This partnership is still at an infancy stage, but it is, uh, we hope, moving in the right direction. Also, the university is piloting online learning with its Institute of Distance Education for students that missed out on the formal education and also uh, for, for uh, adults that want to uh, further their studies and cannot attend the normal you know, set up of a, 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 a normal university life. Uh, in Switzerland, uh, as you might appreciate, uh, we only have a population of uh, about a million people. So we have one state-owned telecommunications company, uh, and also we have one uh, private mobile company. Four <coughs> private ISPs, maybe for some of you that would just be 
or for, for a small town or a city, but for us, that's the entire country. Government has their own internet service, and the backbone is owned by the state telecommunications company, which runs the fixed and partly the mobile uh, network. Well, they've also gone into optic fiber ring around the country, and the network and evidence set us is there, but still um, not that much up to, up to standard. We have otherwise some other successes that have been realized. This is in the area of education management. The information system is fully equipped to capture and process all statistics on schools around the country. So the colleges have fully examined ICT curriculum, and a few secondary schools have own uh, local area networks that are connected to the internet. Of course, there's always uh, challenges, especially um, in, in our country, which is still at its infancy stage within the ICT. There are very few qualified ICT teachers. As you might all be aware that uh, the, 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 the most of the teachers in, in, in primary schools, uh, especially in the rural areas, it is very uh, difficult to access this kind of information. And the fact that ICT has not been a part of the curriculum, even in the training colleges, hence the reason why we have a few qualified ICT teachers. Uh, like many challenges in other countries, the financial constraints are still there. We've all suffered in one way or the other in terms of uh, uh, the, our fiscal positions, and we do have those constraints, and they are having a bearing in what we need to do in terms of ICT. Also, the high cost of bandwidth, uh, that is another amount of task. It's a big challenge for the country as well. There's also the high cost of ICT resources in, uh, it is in terms of uh, hardware and software. And I'm delighted uh, uh, that uh, today we are amongst the giants who will be able to discuss some issues and programs later on in the day where we can sort of come together in this aspect of the, the resources in terms of hardware and software. And also the non-availability of locally developed training or learning materials. Most of the materials that we use, what we have at the moment, uh, are foreign developed and we need to uh, develop uh, local uh, tra training materials. I was really interested in what was said earlier uh, by the Minister uh, uh, of uh, Education here in uh, Zimbabwe that we need to have materials that are in the local language. And it does assist not only uh, the school going children, even adults to access this kind of information in their own language. There must be a reason why we should invest in, uh, in ICT for <coughs> education. Uh, for the same reason that we now live in information knowledge based economy, we have to invest in, in, in ICT for education. For the development is now driven by ICTs. There's absolutely nothing that you can do without uh, uh, ICTs. Whether you're in health, education, finance, legal, it doesn't matter which other, uh, sphere you are in, it's a must that uh, uh, whatever development you have, uh, it's, it's driven by ICTs. Also, ICT motivates learning as it can be used as both a teaching and a learning tool. And it also encourages creative development, collaboration, and cooperation amongst them. Uh, we had a quite a, a good story this morning, uh, what children can do with learning. You know, they uh, bring up an elephant in a, a plane. It's powered quite commendable, but it shows that children can think and they can provide solutions to certain um, uh, aspects uh, in, in life. They might not be appropriate, but it shows that they are thinking about something. <clears throat> we also have to invest uh, in, in ICT as the human resources and to support social and gender inclusion. When <coughs> I was uh, we seated over there with my neighbor and also uh, you were in close proximity with South Africa, I was just thinking to myself, is this a man's world? Because, you know, at the beginning it was all gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen talking about ICT. I was uh, 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 delighted when I saw uh, the Deputy Minister from the Republic of South Africa coming up a lady and I said, oh, anyway, at least there's a click out hope. <laughs> we also need to invest uh, in on ICT for education in order to help in creating a knowledgeable society that will attract investors 
uh, to a country. Investors are very, very particular, and when there is no big, you know, robust networks and uh, ICT, they tend to move to the countries that are already well developed in terms of ICT. We also have the, to, to, the use of ICT as a tool in schools and universities to help in human development and encourage learners to engage in small and medium enterprises. Well, what we thought could be a way forward for us is to develop is the development of a private, a public a, a partnership, like we are going to have this afternoon. We hope it bears some, uh, some fruit, and also to invest in ICT for education, introduce tax incentives for investors in ICT for education. Because that on its own will also encourage uh, the, 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 the people who come in, the business people who come in, especially for education. We need to engage the contractors <coughs> for investment in ICT for education. Also, and the most important, you need the political support in equal, <coughs> is also equally important. If the, if the, the politicians or the government does not support uh, the, the ICT and learning and support these ministries of ICT, you will note that uh, we will always let behind. But if there's a political will, we can uh, cross so many bridges. So we have to look at ways of lowering the cost of the bandwidth. At the moment, as I've indicated, we have one fixed uh, uh, operator and one mobile operator. I think in the region, we are maybe number three or number four in terms of uh, being expensive in terms of uh, the communication. We need to put in place appropriate policies and legislation that support ICT for education. At the moment, it, um, it is just a, 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 in most governments a by the way issue, and we need to refocus in this uh, important uh, uh, aspect of uh, of government in terms of uh, empowering uh, the children in our schools and all those that are learning in other times. May I take this opportunity to thank the, the sponsors and all the people, the, the people that are, are are here today. And it is an opportunity, an opportunity for Switzerland to learn what other countries have done in their ICT programs. I thank you.